Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 6 to the power 1 minus 2 over x equals 3, and we're supposed to evaluate 2 to the power x. I'll be presenting three methods. Let's start with the first one and continue with the third one. So here's the first method. So for my first method, I'm going to do the following. And let me rewrite the original problem. This is given and we're supposed to find 2 to the power x. So I'm, go I'm going to go ahead and log both sides. You can use any base like base 6 or base 3, but I'm just going to use base 10. So log 6 to the power 1 minus 2 over x equals log 3. They're both in base 10. And then we're going to use the power rule. We're going to go ahead and move this to the front. This is going to give us 1 minus 2 over x multiplied by log 6 equals log 3. Now we can go ahead and divide both sides by log 6 to get the x terms by itself. So we can kind of write it like this. My goal is to solve for x here. So let's go ahead and manipulate this a little bit. So we have log 3 over log 6, right? So here's what we can do. First of all, we can go ahead and switch to 2 over x and log 3 over log 6. So I can write it like this. 1 minus log 3 over log 6 equals 2 over x. In other words, the sum of these two terms is equal to 1. Make sense? Now, uh, we can make a common denominator on the left-hand side. Log 6 minus log 3 over log 6 equals 2 over x. Now log 6 minus log 3 from properties of logs can be written as log 6 over 3, which is log 2, by the way. So this becomes log 2 over log 6, and that's equal to 2 over x. And then from this point on, we can go ahead and flip both sides or cross multiply. Either way is fine. So like log 2 times x equals 2 log 6. And now 2 can be moved because that's going to become a power, and we get log 2 times x equals log 6 squared, which is log 36. And then finally dividing by log 2, we get x by itself, log 36 over log 2. Obviously, there's a couple different ways to write it. By using change of base formula backwards, this is equivalent to log 36 with base, log 36 with base 6. But what is that? Oh, by the way, this is not log 6. That's going to be a log 2. Never mind. This is log 2. Therefore, this is going to be a 2 as well. Okay. So log 36 base 2. That is the x value. But we're not looking for x. We're looking for 2 to the power x. So 2 to the power x is going to become 2 to the power log 36, but base 2. So that's going to be 36. Because we have the rule a to the power log b. If you have uh, base a, then this becomes b. All right, that's the property we used here, so the answer is 36. Let's go ahead and take a look at the third method. So with the first method, this is basically what we did. We logged both, si we logged both sides and then isolated x, solved for x, and then we plugged it in. And obviously, we used a lot of properties here. Okay? With the third method... And let me rewrite the original problem one more time. 6 to the power 1 minus 2 over x equals 3. We're supposed to evaluate 2 to the power x. Okay, so for, so for my third method, I'm going to set the 2 to the power x equal to something. So basically, I'm going to use substitution, right? So let's set 2 to the power x equal to y. And you're like, why? Okay, so from here, we can raise both sides to the power 1 over x and then this becomes 2 equals y to the power 1 over x. Now why do I need that, right? I'm going to replace 2 with that in my expression. But let's go ahead and work this out a little bit. So we're gonna take this 6 to the power 1 minus 2 over x and I want to make a common denominator 6 to the power x minus 2 over x Great. And now we can break it down. Since 6 can be written as 2 times 3, we can write 6 to the power x minus 2 over x as 2 to the power x minus 2 over x times 3 to the power x minus 2 
over x. So I use the property that allows you to write a to the n times b to the n equals ab to the power n or vice versa. Okay? Now, 6 to the power 1 minus 2 over x is equal to 3. We know that, right? It's given. So this is equal to 3. Nice. So that is the critical part. We're going to take this and guess what? We're going to put the 3s on the same side, okay? Because they can be combined. So here's what we're going to do. To isolate 2 to the power x minus 2 over x, we're going to divide both sides by 3 to the power x minus 2 over x. This is 3 to the power 1, so we're supposed to subtract the exponents, right? Let's go ahead and do that. 3 to the power 1 minus x minus 2 over x. And that is 3 to the power x minus x plus 2. Don't forget to negate this negative here. Divided by x. And x cancels out and we end up with 3 to the power 2 over x. And where does that come from? From here. So these two are equal. Let's go ahead and rewrite it. 2 to the power x minus 2 over x equals 3 to the power 2 over x. Awesome. Super confusing, right? It kind of looks confusing, but the idea is pretty simple. What we do here is isolate 2 and write it in terms of x and y and then break down the 6 into 2 times 3 and then just go from there. Now we, we have this equation so we can go ahead and raise both sides to the power x to get rid of the 1 over x. So this cancels out, this cancels out. We end up with the following 2 to the power x minus 2 equals 3 to the power 2 which is 9. Awesome. What am I looking for? I'm looking for 2 to the power x. So this means 2 to the power x divided by 2 to the power 2 is 9. This means 2 to the power x equals 4 times 9, which is 36. And that's the answer. Now is the time to take a look at the second method. Now, why do we do the second method last? Because that is the most awesomest method. That's why we had to save it for last. Okay, I know some people are going to find second, um, I mean, first method, kind of too much, confusing, and also the third method. Third method is definitely uh, an overkill, but it is still a method. It's, it's valid. Okay, second method. Here we go. We have 6 to the power 1 minus 2 over x equals 3, and I'm supposed to find 2 to the x. Ready, set, go. I'm going to go ahead and write this as 6 to the power 1 over 6 to the power 2 over x equals 3. 6 divided by what number equals 3? The answer is 2. Okay. And then from here we get 6 to the power 2 over x equals 2. And then now is the time to raise both sides to the power x. And that's going to give us 36 equals 2 to the power x. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. And don't forget to mention which method do you like the best. And bye-bye.